Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. Drone industry condemns reckless FPV drone video. Skypixel unveils the best aerial photos of 2017. And the UAS Pilots Code released. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world with more than 195,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. A video posted to Facebook has been receiving a great deal of attention from the drone community, and now the rest of the world, as it appears someone has done something dangerous and counterproductive to the interest of the UAS communities. The video shows an FPV racer flying in the approach path to Las Vegas McCarran International Airport. The barely 30-second video appears to be shot fairly high above the ground, a thousand feet or more, and within visual sight of the McCarran Airport. An Airbus A320 appears, approaches, and flies underneath the drone, and thereafter shows the drone's flight path as it dives down and toward one side of the airliner passing below. The rest of the foolish flight continues its descent away from the approach path. AMA's Chad Bedreau tells ANN that no one should be flying in careless and reckless manner, and importantly, all drone model aircraft pilots must stay well clear of manned aircraft. We condemn the type of operation depicted in this video. Furthermore, anyone who violates aviation regulations or endangers public safety must be held accountable for their actions. We urge the FAA to take strong enforcement action against the drone pilot and against future violators. We continue to believe education and increased enforcement are effective ways to protect our nation's airspace. In the next drone minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. The FBI has contacted AMA as part of their routine community outreach to ask for help in staying ahead of extremist threats. AMA is honored to assist in the FBI efforts, and in fact, our hobby has a strong history of helping them in the past. To help identify the good guys from the bad guys, FBI agents may soon visit some local AMA clubs soon. AMA encourages you to welcome any FBI agents that you may encounter and answer their questions. The city of Osaka, Japan has opened the nation's first drone museum, where visitors can explore the history of UAVs and try their hand at flying them. The drone museum Hori has been open in conjunction with Skyaski Company, a drone pilot school based on Toyonko, Osaka Prefecture. The museum has 16 types of drones on display, dating back to the earliest industrial models produced in New Zealand in 2011. Texas Game Wardens are adding a new set of eyes in the sky. An unmanned aircraft system, or UAS, they say will enhance their ability to quickly and safely surveil hard-to-access areas during natural disasters and search and rescue operations. The new drone, a DJI Inspire 2, was donated through the Texas Parks and Wildlife Foundation's Gear Up for Game Wardens program. Vahana, the all-electric self-piloted VTOL aircraft from Airbus, has announced the successful completion of its first full-scale flight test, reaching a height of 16 feet before descending safely. The test was completed at 8.52 a.m. Pacific on January 31, 2018 at the Pendleton UAS range in Pendleton, Oregon. Its first flight with a duration of 53 seconds was fully self-piloted, and the vehicle completed a second flight the following day. That was our Drone Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Skypixel has announced the winners of its 2017 Photo Story Contest. The contest, which ran from October to December 2017, received over 44,000 submissions from participants in 141 countries across the categories of landscape, portrait, and story. The grand prize was awarded to Florian Ledeau, a photographer from France. 
who used his Phantom 4 Pro to capture a remarkable moment of a polar bear jumping across the ice floes in Nunavut, Canada, in his entry above the polar bear. In addition to the grand prize, each main category also consists of a first, second, and third prize from both the professional and enthusiast groups. The winning entries captured a diverse range of perspectives, from a profiling girl dancing in a 190-year-old building in Shanghai to capturing a striking image depicting environmental impact in the world today. To view the top winning entries, visit skypixel.com. A UAS pilot's code has been established to set forth rigorously developed best practices to enhance aviation safety. It is a collaborative product of the Aviators Code Initiative and University Aviation Association, with extensive input from more than 50 subject matter experts, offered to the aviation community as a free public service. The Unmanned Aircraft Systems Pilots Code is a product of extensive research and peer review within the manned and unmanned aviation communities. The UASPC provides a set of principles and practices to help a pilot interpret and apply standards and regulations, and confront real-world challenges and avoid mishaps. The UASPC is designed to help UAS pilots develop and implement standard operating procedures, effective risk management, and safety management systems. It encourages UAS pilots to consider themselves aviators and participants in the broader aviation community. The growth of unmanned aircraft operations has been so rapid that safety technologies and regulations are not yet fully developed. Nevertheless, UAS pilots bear the same obligation to operate safely as do manned pilots for whom training and safety programs are well-defined and rigorously implemented. The UASPC provides a set of recommended best practices that both new and experienced UAS pilots can integrate into their operations. Well, that's our program for this week. Airborne's AMA Drone Report is presented weekly in cooperation with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. And in addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-niche.net and more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week.